Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a Mardi Gras look. And I got this idea from another YouTuber, Nikki Tutorials, so I'm gonna test it out and see what I think. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. So what she did for her video was she had a mask like this and she put it on her face and then did her makeup and it looks really pretty actually. I'm almost wondering if we could use or we should use something like this. Would that be a pretty Mardi Gras? But how she did is she held it up and then she put the colors, different colors all over that. So this is definitely in the running I think. Let's see what else. For some reason, I bought off Amazon one night a bunch of these masks. I think I was wanting to throw some kind of a party, maybe? I'm not sure. But I found it the other day. Another pretty one. What do you guys think? Oh, now this is pretty. Now look at this. Now that's very Mardi Gras. What do we think? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now this is an interesting one for Mardi Gras. I don't know, I kind of like that crown one though. What do you guys think? There's a lot of really cute options. Oh no, this is interesting. But yeah, I'm really excited. I don't know, this might be too much for the look that we're going for. So I'm gonna put these to the side because I think I do like what we've decided on already. I have to adjust myself because Bob is in my lap right now falling asleep. He went to the groomers today, it was so cute. This is a little tiny one. And that's an option too. All right, so I think, honestly, I was thinking, this one reminds me more of Mardi Gras. There we go. I definitely think this is the one. All right, so now that we've chosen the mask, we need to prep the skin. So we're gonna go in with the Super Bloom. This is the Bright Eyes Peptide Cream. We're just gonna go in and put that, look how nice and creamy that is and thick. So now I'm just very liberally applying this. More is better. We want hydrated under eyes. Of course. What are you guys up to today? What's happening? Do you guys need to see the cat for cat tax? Who wants a cat for cat tax? Cat tax, the cat tax. Oh, the cat tax. Oh, there's Bob. You guys got a Bob tax. I think Bob's tired of me moving too much. Entirely too much. And then Nugget is just, Nugget's in the way. She's trying to steal the show from me. All right, we'll show everybody you. We'll show everybody the Bob, the Bob tax, huh? All right. First things first, we're gonna need foundation. I'm gonna use this fancy little sponge here from Spectrum. And then we're gonna be using this foundation right here. All right, so I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of the Milk Primer. This is the Hydro Grip. Huge, huge fan. Oh, I love the way this this feels so good on my skin and it really does hydro grip so now I don't exactly know how I want to do an eye look I think I want to see maybe I'm not sure so we're gonna go in with the NYX this is the professional this is the micro brow pencil Try to get lift on this eyebrow. Oh, I keep doing the wrong end. What do you guys think of the eyebrow so far? I 
All right, we're gonna go in, of course, with Tried and True. You know it, the P. Louise base in Rumor Zero this time. So one of the palettes we're gonna be using for this look. All right, let's go in with this base. So we're just gonna put it, smush it around. What do you guys usually do for Mardi Gras? Do you guys have any traditions? Do you make the king cake with the baby in it? Do you guys go to parades? What does Mardi Gras mean to you? All right, using that shade right here in this palette, it's called Parched. Same thing with the other eye. We're going with a super fluffy brush. We're gonna use the shade. Let's use Kumquat. Look how pretty that is. So now we're just going in like this, just ever so slightly. I used to love when at work, one of the jobs that I worked, we did king cake every year. And I remember one time I found the baby and it was awesome. She looked real nice, y'all. All right, so then we're gonna go in with a little bit of, let's get some color going on. I'm trying to think of what I wanna do. Let's do, let's try glitch, what do we think? which is this color right here. What do you guys think? Let's do some glitch. It's with another super fluffy brush. Look at that color. Oh, so beautiful. Let's just push it, push it on in. Push it on in, y'all. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful color. Look at that color coming out. Yes, queen. It's like giving me real sunsetty vibes. Sunsetty vibes. Mm-hmm. Yes, queen. We're gonna use the shade. What shade should we use next? I feel like this needs like a gold. We need a gold moment. So we're gonna put down, of course, with the NYX Glitter Primer. What are you guys up to? What's everybody doing? Like, oh my god. We're gonna do Filthy Rich, which is, just wait for it. Filthy Rich, ugh. Now just push it in with your finger where you want it to go. Look at that, y'all, ugh. She beautiful. All right, now with the same side. Actually, you know what? Let's not do it the same side because I will show you guys what it looks like without using primer. Let's do that. Let's show a little what it's like to not use any primer on your eyelid and put on glitter. It right away but yeah there's a lot of glitter fallout <laughs> holy cow all right going back in with that fluffy brush and with the shade glitch we're just gonna blend these all together remember we want to make sure it looks seamless and not like blunt there's color blunt there's the glitter so we just do one of these All right, so in true Mardi Gras fashion, we need to have some bright color kind of popping in here, but I'm thinking, I'm put a little bit underneath there. Now 
always be careful when working with glitter around your eyes because you don't want glitter to get in your eyeballs because it will it will absolutely and will tear the eye up it's a very sucky thing about glitter because when you use it it gets everywhere Ugh. all right now for the foundation I'm using this interesting little sponge here of course using my Hollywood flawless filter Charlotte Tilbury now that the primer is all soaked in I'm excited to be doing a Mardi Gras makeup look I have never I've done a Mardi Gras makeup look before. It's definitely one of my favorite foundations for sure. What's nice about this look is that because it is Mardi Gras, you can look as messy. It doesn't have to have like that sharp line, which is amazing. Push this around, push it into the skin. We are all done with that. So now, instead of setting it just yet, we're going to put this on. I wanna set it how I want it here. Because we don't want it to move while we're doing this look. I know this is falling down, but we can kind of. All right, let's get some bright colors going on in here. We're gonna use the color Splash. And just push it in like such. Just finding some different places to put it. Right, I'm going to use Submerge. Flaming Hot from the Conspiracy Palette. Oh, there's a cat. There's Lily. Can everybody say hi, Lily? Actually, let's use some. Let's do the food video. It's a real neon yellow. Let's use some of that. in here with the conspiracy the mini conspiracy we're gonna do the purple I hope this turns out okay and I don't look completely dumb <laughs> it's too late to go back on it now huh? ooh, ooh, ooh. it broke oh shoot all right well I'm gonna hold it up like this it's gonna be really awkward now guys this sucks I can maybe it might be off a little bit we're gonna have to work with what we've got All right, let's do the crown first that's funny because I can't even see because the way my hands have to hold this up Ugh. that did not turn out how I wanted it. Mm. 
The stamps though, like look pretty, but I need to get another, I think I might be able to fix this. The crown definitely didn't turn out the way that I thought that it would turn out. It looks like just bubbles on my head. Ugh, I'm trying to tie this is a nightmare right now. Okay, there we go. All right, I think maybe now I can adjust maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting the process, but I'm very nervous at the same time. how it turned out let's I'm just let's do the big reveal because this is making me nervous now all right you ready <laughs> okay well that is interesting <laughs> and I do think it's pretty um it probably could have been better had I not had the thing fall off of me um, I don't like the crown though. I thought that that would turn out a lot better. I mean, it's it's pretty, uh, but everything didn't match up properly after it moved. And I think I should have stuck with maybe certain colors in certain areas. I don't think I should have done like this random. This random looks like I fell asleep at a party kind of look. Can we clean the crown up at all? Cause that might look better without the crown. But I don't think it will. Because <laughs> that's on there. Alright, let's set though. And maybe finish the look and try to see. <laughs> I mean, it's a very interesting look. Yeah, this mask just was not it for me. This was not it. But we tried. I don't really think that we need highlighter with this look because <laughs> it's definitely interesting all by itself. And a lot of people will say, oh, you're underlining your lips. I'm actually not like my lip. It's a little funky. Because I need more lip filler. Mine is dissolving. It will clean up a little bit though. We use forbidden fruit. That bad boy right there. And the fun thing, I get to go up the dogs later outside looking like this. I think the eye look looks great, but definitely this like. <laughs> so then we're gonna go in with uh, malicious kisses. We're gonna go in the middle. It was definitely, I don't know, it was not giving the look that I wanted to go for. But I also did want to try out Malicious Kisses because I've never tried it. <laughs> so that did not end well. Let's spoolie out these eyelashes and then zoom out and let's give a final thought. All right guys, there is like no way to describe right now. Like, I love my original eye, eye makeup look. However, I think the mask idea, I think it's a wonderful idea. I think I should have just stuck to like certain colors, like purple right here, yellow, like going instead of just kind of picking wherever. And I, I don't know, maybe that mask, I'll have to go back and look at the video that Nikki Tutorials did because whatever mask it was that she used, it turned out perfect. Me, I literally look like a modern day rapper. And I do like Malicious Kisses as lips, but not for this look, but I just wanted, I said at this point, everything is going out the window with this look, so might as well try something that I wanted to try. Not bad for the lip. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, all right guys, I, 
I don't even know what else to think. At least I tried. I'll try it again though, because I definitely, Nikki Tutorials, it turned out really well with Nikki, so I, I just want, I want to give it one more shot. One more good college try, so. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave, hit that bell icon, let me know. Thumbs up if you like this video, thumbs down if you didn't like it, but definitely a comment because it helps, it helps me see what kind of videos you guys are interested in. And until next time, see you later. Am I moving too much for you, Bob? I'm so sorry. She's sick. Oop, there's a cat. Am I bothering you, sir? Oh, I'm using the wrong end. <laughs> Looking great. Looking cute. Hi. Hi. Where are we coming off? Oh no, oh no, oh no. <gasps> no! Did it break?